Hello everyone, welcome to Kiredi Training Solutions. In this session, we are going to discuss one of the interesting topic of quantitative aptitude which purely works on the principles of relative speed, that is problems on clocks. This session helps you to find angle between two needles of a clock at stipulated time in less than 30 seconds. Let's enter into the concept now. Now we know in clock, the total angle is 360 degree. See, whatever the shape of clock, we have to consider it as circle in shape. Right, because here the flow happens only in circle shape. So we can say angle of the clock is 360 degrees. In clock, we totally have three needles, right? But you have to consider only two needles here. So first needle is minute needle. So minute needle is the bigger needle. And second one is a hover needle. There is a smaller needle. We don't need to worry about the second needle, right? So minute needle is the bigger needle and hover needle is the smaller needle. Now, if we take speed of the minute hand, this minute hand will cover the complete 360 degrees in one hour. So, we can see in one hour the minute hand could cover 360 degrees. So, that is 60 minutes, right? So, one hour or 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, if it could cover 360 degrees, in one minute it will cover 6 degrees. So, 6 degrees per minute is nothing but speed of the minute hand. If we take hour hand, it will take 12 hours to complete cover this 360 degrees. So, hour hand speed is 12 hours to cover 360 degrees. So, in one hour it will cover only 30 degrees. See, if you take 360 degrees, that is if you take a clock, it is divided into 12 subdivisions. So, this complete 360 degrees is divided into 12 subdivisions. So, each subdivision is 30 degrees, right? So, if you take 10 to 11, it's 30 degree or 11 to 12, it's 30 degree. So, each subdivision here is 30 degree. So, in 12 hours, if it cover 360 de 360 degrees, in one hour, it will cover 30 degrees. So, that is 60 minutes. So, in one minute, it will cover only 30 by 60, half a degree. So, half a degree per minute is nothing but speed of the hour hand. So, minute hand covers 6 degree in 1 minute, hour hand covers half a degree per minute. Now, both the needles are moving in same direction, right? So, whenever both the needles are moving in same direction, to find the relative speed, we have to look at the difference. So, speed of the faster moving object minus speed of the slower moving object. So, 6 degree per minute minus half degree per minute, we get 11 by 2 degree per minute. So, 11 by 2 degree per minute is nothing but relative speed of both the needles. That is, in one minute, the distance created between minute hand and hour hand is 11 by 2 degrees. So, we have to keep these values in mind, right? So, minute hand speed 6 degree per minute, hour hand speed half, min half degree per minute and relative speed is 11 by 2 degree per minute. Now, based on this, let's solve our first question. Find the angle between hour hand and minute hand at 4.30 pm. At 4.30 pm, we have to find the angle between two needles. Now, if it is 4.30 pm, we have to keep 4 pm as base because you can exactly find the angle between two needles at 4 pm. So, minute needle will be spotting to 12 and hour needle will be spotting to 4. And we know each subdivision is 30 degrees. So, we totally have 4 subdivision between these two needles. So, it is 120 degrees, right? Now, we have to find the angle between minute and hour needle at 4.30 pm. If it is 4.30 pm, this minute needle have to move 30 minutes, right? So, for 1 minute, the minute hand will move 6 degrees. In 30 minutes, it will move 180 degrees, right? So, this minute hand will cover 180 degrees in 30 minutes. Now, during the same time, hour hand will also move, right? So, the hour hand will move half a degree in one minute. So, in 30 minutes, it will move 15 degrees. So, this hour hand get tilted 15 degrees in 30 minutes. Now, let's change the color for your convenience. We can change it as black color. Now, what we exactly need to find is the angle between hour hand and minute hand at 4.30 pm. Now, we know out of this 180 degree, that is from 12 to 6, it's 180 degree, right? So, in this 180 degree, we don't need this 120 degrees. 
as well as the hover hand also moved 15 degrees right so this is nothing but 15 degrees now 120 plus 15 degree we get 135 degrees and we know from 12 to 6 it is 180 degrees 180 degrees minus 135 degrees we get 45 degrees so this 45 degrees is nothing but angle between minute hand and hour hand exactly at 4 30 pm or we can keep it in this way we don't need to worry about this 120 degree at 4 30 pm minute needle will be spotting to 6 right and hour needle get little tilted we know from 4 to 6 it's 60 degree so hour hand movement is 15 degree so when you subtract 15 from 60 degree we get 45 degree so 45 degree is answer for this question hope you understood the problem right moving to second question of the same model so that you will get a clear idea on how to find angle between two needles so answer for this question is 45 degrees find the angle between hour hand and minute hand at 11 20 am if it is 11 20 am we have to keep which time as base exactly 11 am right we have to keep 11 am as base so minute hand will be spotting 12 that is the bigger needle will be spotting to 12 and smaller needle will be spotting to 11 so exactly at 11 am the angle between minute needle and hour needle will be 30 degrees because a single subdivision is 30 degree which we discussed in concept based discussion right so which is 30 degree at 11 20 am the minute needle will move how many degrees in one minute if it moves six degrees in 20 minutes it will move 6 degree into 20 minutes 120 degrees see in 120 degrees the minute hand will be spotting to 4 so we can change the color we can change it to blue color right okay now this minute needle will be spotting to 4 so this is 20 minutes right now during the same time hover hand will also make a movement we know in one minute the hover hand will move half degree so in 20 minutes it will move 10 degrees half degree into 20 minutes 10 degree right so it will get tilted little towards 12 so this angle is nothing but 10 degrees so this angle is 10 degrees now we have to find angle between the minute needle and hour needle exactly at 11 20 right that means we have to find this angle now we know from this 12 to 4 it's 120 degrees right from 12 to 4 it's 120 degrees and this 30 degrees out of this 30 degrees 10 degrees is covered by hour needle so 30 degree minus 10 degree it's 20 degree so we can see from this minute needle to 12 it's 20 degree so 20 degree plus 120 degree we get 140 degree so 140 degree is angle between minute needle and hour needle exactly at 11 20 am see one thing we don't need to worry about am or pm right so whatever it is it's an analog clock right so you have to focus only on minute needle and hour needle so here answer for this question is 140 degree so i think uh, you might feel little complex while solving problem with this process right so you have a short trick to solve this type of problem in less than 30 seconds so let me explain the structure here okay the structure is listen carefully the structure is theta equal to modulus of 11 by 2 degree into minute hand minus 30 degree into hour hand now i show you how to find uh, the angle between minute needle and hour needle in lesser time using this structure right so 11 by 2 degree into minute needle minus 30 degree into hour needle now time is 11 20 so minute is 20 hour is 11 now theta equal to 11 by 2 degree into minute is 20 minus 30 degree into hour is 11 so 30 degree into 11 we get 330 degrees so when you cancel it you get 10 times so 10 into 11 you get 110 110 minus 330 we get 220 right so you get 220 it's 220 
but what we found actually is 140 degree. Now, if you exactly look at 12 am or 12 pm, you tend to say angle between two needles is 0 degree. But we have not reflex angle, right? So, when the angle is 0 degree, at, at the back side we have an another angle created which is 360 degree and we know the total angle of the clock is 360 degree. If one angle that is if this angle is 140 degree, we have an another angle forming at the back side. So, that angle is 220 degrees. So, out of this 360 degrees, if one angle is 140 degree, other angle will be 220 degrees. So, whichever the answer is given in option, you have to choose it, right. So, we shall try this, we shall uh, try the same problem in previous, uh, same trick in previous problem. So, where theta equal to 11 by 2 degree into minute hand minus 30 degree into hour hand, right. Okay. So, theta equal to 11 by 2 degrees into minute hand. So, here the minute hand is 30 degree, 4 30 pm, 30 minus 30 degree into hour hand. So, hour hand here is 4. So, you have to use modulus, right? So, you get minus or plus, you do not need to worry because you have a modulus sign. So, when you cancel this, you get 15. So, 30 degree into 4, you get 120. So, 11 into 15, we get 165 minus 120. So, when we solve, you get 45 degrees. So, 45 degrees is our answer. So, this is actual short trick to solve this type of problems in less than 30 seconds, right. So, you can also use the same structure to uh, solve the problem or you can use the traditional approach. So, whichever you feel comfortable, you can use it. But if you want to understand the concept, you have to practice this type of problem at least for 4 to 5 times, then only you will come up with the concept actually. Now, in upcoming session, I will uh, try to explain uh, needle concurrency concept until that stay connected with KDD training solutions. If you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to pass it on comment section below. I am always ready to reply your doubts. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.